Today in the United States is Thanksgiving Day. And I know that many of our viewers don't live in the United States, but if you just give me the opportunity, because I do, I want to talk about Thanksgiving. And specifically, I want to talk about the president who gave thanks. I'm going to read to you from Proverbs chapter 21, verse 1, which reads this. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, like the rivers of water. He turns it wherever he wishes. Now, most Americans believe that one of our greatest presidents was Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln was raised in a time when church going and a public respect of Christianity was expected. Yet it was also a time when men thought for themselves. Lincoln was a man who saw through much of the shallowness and hypocrisy of the organized religion of his day. Before his election to the House of Representatives, Lincoln went to a revival meeting where the preacher was really whipping the crowd into a frenzy. When the preacher had them right where he wanted them, he cried out, Who wants to go to heaven? Stand up if you want to go to heaven. Lincoln remained conspicuously in his seat. The annoyed preacher spoke right to that tall man from Springfield, saying to Lincoln, Aren't you going to heaven, mister? No, Abraham Lincoln said as he rose from his seat and made for the aisle, leaving. As he slowly walked out of the meeting, he said, I'm going to Congress. Now, Lincoln eventually made it to the White House as a man with a reverence for God. Yet, in the beginning, he kept his distance from God, mostly because of his distrust of organized religion. But the pressures of office drove him to a relationship with and a reliance on God that he never knew before. In early July of 1863, the Battle of Gettysburg had been fought, taking some 60,000 American lives, and President Lincoln traveled to the battlefield four months afterward in November. He went there to deliver the Gettysburg Address, perhaps the most famous speech ever uttered by a president of the United States. Deeply moved by the sacrifice of these soldiers, Lincoln first committed his life to Christ while walking among the graves there. He later explained this. When I left Springfield to become president, I asked the people to pray for me. I was not a Christian. When I buried my son, the severest trial of my life, I was not a Christian. But when I went to Gettysburg and saw the graves of thousands of our soldiers, I then and there consecrated myself to Christ. Well, those are remarkable words from an American president. Matter of fact, this is what Abraham Lincoln had to say about the Bible. In regard to this great book, I have but to say, I believe the Bible is the best gift God has given to man. All the good Savior gave to the world was communicated through this book. But for this book, we could not know right from wrong. All things most desirable for man's welfare here and hereafter are to be found portrayed in it. Lincoln also said this about the Bible. He said, Now let us treat the Bible fairly. If we had a witness on the stand whose general story was true, we would believe him even when he asserted the facts of which we have no other evidence. We ought to treat the Bible with equal fairness. I decided long ago that it was less difficult to believe the Bible was what it claimed to be than to disbelieve it. You see, Abraham Lincoln was a good man before he consecrated his life to Christ. But his greatness and the greatness of the task before him convinced him that he needed to trust in and rely on a person much greater than himself. According to his own testimony, Lincoln put his trust in Jesus Christ. Hey, when you get to heaven, look up Abraham Lincoln. Now, the National Day of Thanksgiving was initiated by George Washington in the year 1789, but there had not been an annual proclamation of Thanksgiving since 1815 until the Civil War, 
when Abraham Lincoln declared November 26, 1863, the last Thursday in November, a day of thanksgiving. Proverbs 21, verse 1 says, The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. I believe God guided Abraham Lincoln's heart to give thanks to the Lord. I pray that today God will also fill your heart with thanksgiving and you will honor God for all he has done for you.